Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another Sony Vegas Pro tutorial and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a lock on effect. Now I've created about two tutorials on a type of lock on effect in my previous tutorials but except this time instead of me giving you guys a template to download from uh, we're going to be actually creating a lock on effect from scratch within Sony Vegas which is pretty easy and doesn't take too much time to make. So let's get started. And the first thing you want to do, and this is pretty important if you want the best quality uh, lock-on effect, is go to your project video properties and make sure it's set to 720p. All right, now we're gonna insert a text media. And in order to do that, you need to insert a uh, video track first, then insert a text and the font doesn't really matter. All you have to do is uh, center the text. And we're just going to be creating the, as you saw in the video, the four corners of the lock on effect. So I'm just going to change the font, but you don't have to. So Typograph Pro. And in case you didn't know that these four corners of the video or the lock on effect, those are actually addition or plus signs that I use. I just masked out the extra two uh, parts of the plus sign. So again, uh, press shift and find the plus sign on your keyboard. You should get something like this. Hold on, we're going to make the font about 30, alright, and hold shift and press the addition sign. Now we're going to hit space a few times, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, around 5 times, and we're going to include another addition mark. And then we're just going to press enter about 2 times, or you can do it about press enter three times and then I'm gonna do the same thing hit the addition sign and hit space about five times and make sure uh, that it's even according to the top addition signs so one two three four five and there you go so as you see here we created the basic outline of the effect now what we need to do now is of course cut these extra two parts off of the addition signs. So we're going to go into the event pan crop uh, window and we're going to select mask. And all we're going to be doing is uh, basically starting off at this position right here and we're going to work our way around the uh, addition signs and if, in case if you masked out the addition signs too little so that some parts are showing what you can do is go to the feather type and select in and put the feather percent to about 0.5 now we're going to insert another video track and we're going to go to media generators and go to solid color and bring down the red solid color. So we're going to be changing the frame size of the solid color but we're not going to be able to do that on the frame size. So we're going to go to your event pan crop tool and you want to make sure that these two options are selected and while holding control or CTRL want to go on either side of the box and then click it and drag it in and you want to drag it in all the way until uh, you can see the white boxes on the four corners and lastly you want to get the top or bottom uh, box and you don't have to hold control but just uh, click and drag it out and then you want to adjust it so that 
there's even spacing between all the boxes and the red solid color. So now you're done with editing the image and you want to go to your preview quality and set it to best and full. And then we're going to be saving the snapshot to file so go to your desktop and save it as a PNG file. Alright so after you got that done you want to open up a new project and this time we're going to be uh, inserting our video clip. Alright and then you want to import your image and by default it's, it has an alpha matte background so you don't have to set it to add or anything. Now first off we're going to be slowing down our video using the velocity uh, clip so what you want to do is select your video clip and go to insert video envelopes and event velocity and we're just going to hit U on our keyboard to separate the audio because the audio doesn't synchronize with the video if you're using the velocity envelope. Alright so you're going to go to the part where you get a kill. or where you almost get a kill so right around here and you want to make a point and you're going to make a point just by double clicking on the green line you want to go back about 16 or 20 frames and you want to get the second point and then you want to drag it down to about 30 now if you go below 30% the slow motion on this thing will get a little rough so 30 is probably its best limit to getting smooth slow motion alright and we're just gonna go here and scrub through our frames so right now it's at 216 the effect is probably about uh, 420 frames and after about 20 frames you wanna make another point go forward about seven five frames make another point and then on the last point we made we're just gonna click it and drag it up back to a hundred percent alright so now we got the slow motion on our video and we're just gonna drag our image onto a separate video track right on top of the video and we're gonna be placing it right on top of the first point and we're going to shorten it to about between the last two points we made All right, and we're going to go into our event pan crop tool and then we're just going to zoom all the way in and actually before you uh, zoom in on the image we're gonna make the red solid color transparent so that you can see through it now we can use the add option but the thing is with the add option you can't really uh, see through the solid color as well so we're just gonna go to our video effects and use the chroma here and set the pure red screen onto the image and you want to go into your color and by default it's set to red what you want to do is get this cursor and drag it a little bit to the left not too much on the left side but just enough so that we can see through the solid color and then you want to probably adjust the the threshold options and probably the blur amount. Alright, so once you got that done, you want to zoom in now onto your image. And then we're going to go to our second point and make sure this is selected so that you can see what frame we're actually on. So we're just going to make another point and then go forward about two frames or three frames make another point and we're just going to drag this out 
and place it over your target and scrub through the frames and move it or position the solid color according to where your target is so in this way you can kind of manually motion track our image All right, and then we're gonna exit out of the event pan crop window, and we're gonna fade in and fade out our image. So in the beginning, you want to fade offsets about four frames. And then in the end, you want to bring in about four frames as well. So let's preview the effects. And this is basically what you should get at the end of this tutorial. And if the keyframing of the uh, image is a little rough, you can fix that by going to your Event Pan Crop option and selecting all the keyframes. So hold Control and individually select the keyframes you made. And you want to right click and set it to Smooth. And that's how you do the lock on effect in Sony Vegas Pro 11. I hope you guys like this tutorial. If this helped you, uh, you can like this video and share it with your friends. And if you have any questions, just comment on this video and I'll try and get back to them within a few days. So I'll see you guys next time.